verse number 13 says, you seek, you will seek me and find me when you seek me with all your heart. So we need to seek God with all our heart. So the kingdom of God is a sovereign, is, is a sovereignty of God and his rule over all creation, his rule over all creation. So we should seek first that kingdom so that we can, we can be part of of all what God is offering to us. That means we, when we are in that kingdom of God, we depend solely upon him. And that was Jesus was actually teaching uh, his disciples. Hallelujah. He said, you know, he, he told his disciples, his followers, not to worry for provisions like food, food, drink, clothing. Why? Because it's already taken care of. When you're in the kingdom of God, Every other thing will be foundational. Praise the name of the Lord. So we need to seek the kingdom of God first. When you do that, oh, whatever we struggle for, oh, whatever we are, we are struggling for, God will add unto us. Hallelujah. Today, I want us to look at the benefits, the benefits of seeking God first. Because, of course, there are benefits of seeking God first. And one of the benefits we see is a worry-free life. Hallelujah. When you seek first the kingdom of God, you will enjoy a worry-free life. Why? Because God will take care of you. God will take care of you. The Bible says, actually in Hebrews 13 and verse number 5 to 6, keep your lives free from the love of money and be content, content with all with what you have, because God has said, "Never will I leave you, nor will I forsake you." So when you are in the kingdom of God, God will never leave you, nor will He forsake you. So you will live a free, a, a worry-free life, because when you fear. And you, and you get worried, uh, yeah, you know, then the, 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 the beginning of problems, the beginning of problems, hallelujah. And you know, even the, the, the word of God says uh, in second um, in second Timothy 1 and verse number 7, that God has not given us the spirit of timidity, but the spirit of power, love, and sound mind, hallelujah. So God has not even given us the spirit of fear. When we are in him, Ah, we have the spirit of boldness, the spirit of boldness, the spirit of power, the spirit of love and sound mind. Hallelujah. So the other thing that you see when you're seeking God first, then it, 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 it brings peace in your life or in our lives. Colossians 3 and verse number 15 sums it up and, lets, and says, let the peace of Christ rule in your heart since as members of one body you are called to peace and be thankful. So when you seek the kingdom of God first, the peace of God will rule your heart and keep you in Christ Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. You know, so it is so then important, so important to seek God first. You will have peace like a liver in your life because, because you are, because in the, in the kingdom of God, as the Bible says, that the kingdom of God is not a matter of food and drink, but uh, peace, love, you know, peace, love, uh, you know, in, in, in the Holy Ghost, praise the name of the Lord. That's where you enjoy peace like Caliber when you are in the kingdom of God. Praise the name of the Lord. The other thing is it will bring rest in your life. It will bring less in your life. You will have that kind of less. Like Jesus says, come unto me, all you who labor, and are heavy laden, and I will give you less. So when you're in the kingdom of God, you will not labor, but you will have that kind of less that comes from the Holy Spirit. And it's so then important, it's so important to seek the kingdom of God first and his righteousness. You will have Sabbath. You will have rest in your life. You will have Sabbath, the rest, the Sabbath of God. 
Praise the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. So we need as much as possible to be in the kingdom of God. Seeking the kingdom of God path enables you to understand, you know, to understand when you are entering the, 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 the list of God. It is always, you know, it is always very important when you do not labor, when you do not labor, because Christ himself labored for, for last. Number four, when you seek the kingdom of God, Father, it actually brings joy. It brings joy in your life, even so unspeakable joy. It is found yeah, in the kingdom of God. The Bible says in Psalm 16 and verse number 11 that you make known to me the path of life. You will fill me with joy in your presence with eternal pressures at the light hand. So in the presence of God, because in the kingdom of God, there is, a, there is that presence of God, which is actually fullness of joy. So sinking, sinking the kingdom of God first, you know, means being in his presence, and in his presence is fullness of joy. Hallelujah. And the Bible continues to say that even at the light hand are precious forevermore. Hallelujah. You will receive, you know, joy, unspeakable joy in the kingdom of God. And that's a big benefit, my brother, my sister. Hallelujah. Happiness is actually is actually based on circumstances while joy is a fruit of the spirit. So when you are in the kingdom of God, you will enjoy the fruit of the spirit, which actually which joy is one of the fruits of the Holy Spirit, and you will enjoy it. No one yeah, can take your joy away unless you allow them to, because it is God given. It's the Holy Spirit given. So when you're in the in the kingdom of God, you will enjoy that unspeakable joy in your life. Isaiah 55 and verse number 2, the Bible says, You will go out in joy and be led forth in peace to the, the mountains and hills will burst into, into song before you. And all the trees of the field will clap their hands. Hallelujah. Yeah, that is an excellent example of somebody who, who remained you know, joyful even in dire circumstances. Even in dire circumstances. Joy, the joy of the Lord will put you through. You enjoy that peace, that, 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 that unspeakable joy in the presence of the Lord. Hallelujah. Mm, number five, you will understand the justice of God. You will know that God is just when you are in the presence of of the Lord or when you are in the kingdom of God. The Bible says in Proverbs 28 and verse number 5, evil doers do understand, do not understand what is light. But those who seek the Lord understand it fully. You will understand fully. You will understand the just the, 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 that God is just. You will understand, you know, what is right and what is wrong while you are in the presence of the Lord. So the things of God are actually foolishness to those that are perishing. Hallelujah. To be completely honest, it is to it is hand, you know, it is hand to understand God's justice with our human mind. But when you are in the spirit, eh, you are under you understand, uh, you know, the, the just, how God is just in our lives. But when we seek God, when we seek God and his righteousness, we overcome or we come to a place of understanding justice, of understanding justice. Hallelujah. Number six, God will grant us our prayers, even as Mark 11, verse number 24 says, that therefore I tell you, whatever you ask for in, in prayer, believe that you have received it, and it shall be yours. Hallelujah. 
Mm -hmm. God's ears are open to the prayers of his children, especially so when we seek him, when we seek his kingdom and, and, and his righteousness. Hallelujah. But those who seek him day and night, not just that, you know, he is ready and willing to grant them the desires of their heart. So as we pray, while we here are in the kingdom of God, then God will grant us the desires of our heart. So it's so important when we diligently seek God, he comes through for us by answering our prayers. He will answer your prayer. Number seven, God will strengthen us. Number seven, God will strengthen us. Mm -hmm. Even as the Bible says in 2 Corinthians 9 and verse number 10, we just we will just pass through it. The Bible says, the Bible says, My my grace is sufficient for you, for my power is made perfect in is made perfect in in weakness. Therefore, I will boast, you know, all more gladly about my weakness so that Christ's power mm -hmm, may rest upon me. So Paul, you know, had a weakness, a physical weakness, because you remember about the thorn in his flesh. Hallelujah. Whatever disability it was, he prayed regularly, but it could not go away. Away. Hallelujah. But in the presence of the Lord, in the presence of the Lord, he, he, he received the grace and that grace sustained him. Hallelujah. So in the, in the, in the spirit of the Lord, in, in the presence of the Lord, you will find that strength, that strength when you are weak, when you don't know what to do. There is God for you. When you, when you are so weak, God shall ensure that he is your strength even in times of trouble. Hallelujah. The Bible says that he is your strength. Hallelujah. He is our strength and a, and a, and a leverage and a, and 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 a, and a, and a, and a, and, a, and, a, and our leverage every time. God is your leverage even at this present time. Even when you have problems, when you are in the spirit of God or when you are in the presence of the Lord or oh, in the in the in the in the in the kingdom of God, you will enjoy, you'll enjoy his strength forevermore. May God help us so that we may continue to be a people who seek God always. Seek him first and his king and, and, and his righteousness and all things shall be added unto you all these benefits shall be add an additional to our lives so from today my brother hallelujah i pray that you continue seeking god first and his righteousness and all you need shall be added unto you may the lord god bless you and may god keep you shalom Hallelujah.